you before this video does begin make sure to like subscribe i'm trying to hit 1k in these next couple of months it would mean the world to me hit the sub button also i have a discord server link in the description anyways enjoy the video And now we are here. My microphone finally came. The the last clip you saw was me getting unique, and that is like I don't know. It's probably like five six days old by now. Um, but yeah, I have my unique as death. Uh, I did get a low roll on her, so instead it usually has five twenty. That's her base at damage is five twenty, but the orange stats rolled me down to four hundred twelve. So she does a little less damage than she should, but she's still insane. I've been using her for a bit, and yeah. Also, if you guys want to see how many stars I've actually opened. But yeah, here's how many uh, stars I've actually opened. Got a recent. I have one, two, three Hakus. I have three Toshiros, and I have three Todorokis, bro. I have opened so many stars. And I ended up getting a Celestial Toshiro, so my next year will be on this guy right here. But I was waiting for my microphone to come. But yeah, we got Nick as death. Insane. I have a skin on Asta. I have this one. Go to skins. I have three other skins. And look how many legendaries I have, bro. Oh my god. Oh yeah, also something that pisses me off is literally a day. Like, oh no, like, like three days after Christmas, my mic broke. So that was really, really annoying. Let's place down our Ezda. Our starting damage is actually really, really good. Put it right here. Honestly, I... Honestly, I don't know why my ping is so high. Never high, but whatever. Doing 21k on placement. We'll put a Sakura next to her. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll do Sakura next to her. Boost her damage a lot. And yes, this is my first ever unique. Unless you want to... Unless you want to count like a unique Tanjiro I got from a random spin. Then. Alright, well, let's start, level, let's start uh, upgrading her since we know some things are getting fast. My game's also really laggy, I don't know why. He goes up this damage, and we get Ice Slash with the line AoE. We get this, three, four, if I can click it. Upgrade five, her damage shoots up, which is insane. It also turns into a pretty big circle AoE. And then upgrade seven. Again, her damage shoots up. Or that's upgrade seven. Her damage shoots up to two hundred sixty-eight thousand every four point eight seconds. Absolutely broken. And then of course we get the full AOE move, which shoots her damage up to seven hundred thousand. Uh, I do have a curse on her though. So she'll be doing. Uh, or she'll have less SPA. So we can proc this quicker. I sacrifice range for SPA. Honestly, really good decision. I think if you don't have, if you have her, you should definitely put a curse on her for to have a shorter SPA. 
next upgrade, you know, we're almost at a million damage. And if we buff her with Erwin, she's 100% at a million damage, let's be honest. We can't even see the buff, though, sadly. But yeah, plus 25%. So with a 25% increase, she'll be doing 1,248,646 damage. So, you know, she easily gets over 1 million with her buff. And yeah, if she didn't... If I actually rolled like a good one, like a, like a high damage roll one, we'd be easily hitting over 1 million damage, with even without buffs. So if I sell the Sakura, this is for normal damage without the Sakura buff, but I just bring Sakura with her now, so I get that buff. And yeah, she also has full AoE freeze. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.